Hey guys, and welcome back to Minecraft. My name is Twitchy, and we are back up playing on my server. Last time we made this wonderful alien landing zone tableau little diorama thing, and in the stream in between, we made a tank. Uh, I, I kind of feel bad, but it was also looks like a tank and a communications tent where we're going to end up moving the nether pool in there. But today I promised you some trouble in Terristown. And yeah, that's what we're going to work on. This over here, this is some black magic. Look, there's cake involved and all sorts of redstone and stuff like this. But the thing I want you to have a look at down the end, we've got a couple of, uh, couple of torches over there. If I jump on one, look at this is my one that I'm working on. Don't worry about this one. If we jump over here, we get one. I'm trying to compactify it. Uh, we get one torch lit up. If I go ahead and, oh, I don't know, let's say drop a crafting table on here and run away. This is I specifically did it in uh, wooden pressure plates to go, oh, look at this. A second. That should only have turned one off. What went wrong there? Okay, that's better. For some reason, this blob of redstone here was causing us trouble. I'm trying to compactify everything down so we can have it all in a great big long line. But you see how this one has not got this yellow bit lit up here? It was acting like it was. I I don't know. Comparators, they're a little bit broken. But yeah, you can see we get a second torch over there. But it doesn't have to be in order. You can come over here and that will also turn on a second torch. And if I can, I don't know, jump shot. No, jump shot over there you can see that it will light up more torches and this is an individual way of uh seeing how many players are wanting to be here imagine that uh, granite block there was a dispenser we could have some sort of system where everyone stands on a pressure plate when uh you decide that there's enough this is so you can pick the number of players and it doesn't have to be like all, all what have we got here five but it's going to be six in the main version it could be anywhere between four and six uh you'll all hit your ready buttons this will dispense a bunch of maps you remember how we were making the traitor and innocent maps i don't have them on me that's bad planning but i'll show you when we get back there yeah we'll just dispense stuff out push them into droppers using the dispensers as some sort of randomized system uh and that way we can set one person as the traitor and the rest as innocent but of course if uh if Say we had more, hang about, let's say six players were there. What we would do was have this dispenser with the traitor map in it. Then an innocent, an innocent, an innocent, an innocent, and then another traitor map in case there's six, right? And they all get just thrown into a water um, stream, go up via the magic of item elevators, into another dispenser which collects all the items together and then fires them out in a random order, which then comes along, hooks into these dispensers, fires them out, doors open, everyone moves into the play area. Yeah. I think that's a good plan. That's what we're going to be trying to do today, guys. Come and, me come and watch me mess it up badly. <laughs> Welcome to Late Night Redstone Troubles with Twitchy. It is Late Night IRL, but that is the best time to be doing Redstone, trust me, though it does lead to a few complications. I just want to quickly explain something. You remember we were talking about how the red dot of redstone dust next to the comparator down here was causing all sorts of troubles. By the way, guys, if you haven't figured out, this is a redstone heavy episode today. I hope you can deal with that. Well, it turns out the comparator, the comparator that's been with us since 2013. I remember when this thing got introduced. It has a function that I did not know about. Now, everyone's, everyone's uh, aware of the fact that it takes in a signal and then it passes out exactly the same signal afterwards. If I just replaced this with a dot of redstone, it would go one further back because obviously the, the one charge is would be used there, right? You, you guys get that, okay? It just kind of passes it on forwards one. That's what we're using down here these are just infinitely passing it forward so we never lose the signal strength from the redstone and then with the uh, with the, the the light up we've got this uh, um, ability to uh subtract the signal strength so if i actually go ahead and do i don't have any redstone on me what crazy well, I go ahead and do this and put this in a slightly uh, better order okay over the shock of not having redstone on me so this kind of does a, a little subtraction thing when you do the uh, like the 15 minus the two but i like to think of it as one off of max minus two off of max you get one out on this way so that's pretty nice but did you know it does a compare there's a complete compare. So this is a, a signal strength of pretty high, and that is not as high as that. You know, this is one off of max, this is two off of max. But if we go and swap them around, say you go there and then you come back, totally prepared, it will turn it off because this one is stronger than that. Did not know. That was the problem we were having there. So I've had to introduce a couple of extra comparators. No problem, but the whole system now 
kind of works. I've got this this lovely little system in place. Let me talk you uh, through it. Uh, all the players come in here. There's going to be lots of signs going about how this is a one-way system. When you come in here, in fact, uh, these doors are going to be closed. That's, that's very important. Those doors are going to be closed. People are going to be warned that these are going to be traps. If you do, if you do not want to play, do not stand in here. You will, you will die. Um, but for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to open the doors because you guys want to be able to see what's going on. So keep your eye on these torches here. You can see how all the torches are off right now. If I come inside, unfortunately, the door does close. But yeah, there we go. That's a that's a glitchy version there. Um, you could see that torch. There we go. Turning on and off with the uh, with the plate turning on and off so we could use that to detect how many uh, players are playing uh, spit out some maps down below we talked about that bit before and i was then thinking about okay so how do we control all the all the parts around because you got, can't rely on players to just magically know what you want them to do so i put this line of uh, doors in here to hold them in place and these are completely unpowered you just walk on top of them and of course the pressure plate powers it and closes it like that i'm not sure we're gonna be able to let people out all right there, there is a way of doing this to be able to let people out i will i will work on that <laughs> yeah that's not going to work that way but anyway um and then up here did you hear did you hear those droppers firing uh that's because there's some um redstone being passed through up top uh now that i stop and think about it we actually want this to be redstone dust so it doesn't power the doors but you know we will get with that but i also then want to do the hopper now the problems with the hopper is of course i only want to be able to put the maps in the hoppers that have players underneath that's a big problem but i think think we can figure it out down below you can see i've got this little note block arrangement here this was just to be nice to sound good and let players know that they have been registered uh but we can take a signal off of here like these don't actually need to be comparators these can be repeaters um but yeah we could just take a signal off of here and maybe use that to open the thing uh, open the hoppers i've got a lot of thinking ahead of me i think the hoppers are gonna have to be off on default yeah yeah there's a lot of thinking ahead of me but that's a little late night check-in how did you like it? Let me know. Yeah, let's get on with it. And so that system's been put in place. And man, I know it looks diff different, but it's just basically a whole bunch of signal being passed around. If we come down here, let's ignore all this for now. We'll talk about this as we move on. Right. I was saying that we needed to figure out a way of the hoppers being turned on and off. So this little note block here that we talked about earlier, uh, pressure plate gets triggered up there. The signal gets passed down through this block, out, down. And then underneath... Can, can I... Please. Underneath here, uh, let's just clear that one out. We've got a bunch of pistons. So the signal gets passed in, the piston pushes up. These blocks move up, pushing that bit of redstone to power that line, turning this little redstone torch. Uh, yeah, all right, fair enough. Back here, off. Now, that actual redstone torch there does two jobs for me. Uh, not only does it lock the hopper or unlock the hopper, but also when this system gets fired again. Actually, let, let's demonstrate here. Trigger this one off. So um, I should be trapped in there. These, these uh, trap doors here should be down and I shouldn't be able to escape. So that would actually keep like this system firing and stuff like that. But uh, for demonstration, I've triggered that and that pushes this block up as demonstrated. Uh, this turns this redstone torch off. Let's see if I can do it without actually falling off that time. That turns that redstone torch, unlocking that hopper, which allows items to fire from that water. We'll, we'll talk about that in a sec. Into here. Um, and then I need some sort of detection system to like lock the hoppers because obviously it's just going to do it in order else. Uh, there's a few things that need to be thought about here, but these all come with troubles. But let's look down here at what happens once you stand on a pressure plate. So you stand on a pressure plate, the signal gets taken off, and one of these torches turns on. What, the game won't start unless three of these torches are turned on, and I need some sort of system uh, for that. But these will drop their maps into the water, and they will fire into this water column here. Nice and simple. Uh, last update mechanics. It is a beautiful way of moving items around, though. They go up and then they come across into this dispenser. Now, as I was saying, there's a small trouble with the dispenser. Let's turn that off for now. We can fire an item out and it will just kind of go along the thing. That That's that's totally fine. But I have some bigger issues with this. Uh, it's shown the biggest issue almost immediately. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys saw that. Okay, so this is, this is the first one I want to talk about. The fact that it lips up and over onto the edge unfortunately i was testing this a little bit earlier and it turns out that this problem here 
doesn't even matter because of another issue. I don't know if you spotted earlier before it stacked up that one of the items got caught in a hopper. Let's see if we can induce that again. Okay, it's a super rare thing to happen, but super rare doesn't mean it doesn't happen at all. And for a game where we don't want the players to have any interaction with the redstone, this is a game breaker. We cannot have this happen. Um, if all the all the maps have been distributed apart from some guy in one of these last two, or some girl, let's not get the sexist here, apart from one of these last two hoppers, and then this happens, the game will never start and everyone's trapped inside of the, the trapdoors, and then I've got to come on to set them free because I'm one with the permissions to dig here. Yeah, okay, so this cannot work at all. We need a different system, a system that aligns the items along this edge here. You see where the, uh, the hoppers are two pixels wide? That's what we want to do. That completely invalidates... Uh, items falling onto the side. I was going to say we need to replace these all with stairs, but no, no we don't. What we need to do is make this drop shoot down the end a little bit better and somehow align all the items, but still keep the dropper in the loop because of course this is how I'm uh, randomizing the the players, right? If, if they all get fired out in the same order, you know, traitor, innocent, innocent, uh, then it's going to be from this edge, traitor, innocent, innocent. Even if it's like some of the other ones, you know, it could be traitor, innocent, innocent. Um, that means if you want to be traitor, you just stand on the left. And that's that's not how we want it. We want to have a proper random system. So I'm going to do that with the dispenser. So yeah, a few problems to get sorted there again. But, oh, I've got one more. One more problem that I want to talk about. So the way that I was thinking um, of firing these, if you think about it, when the items drop in, one at a time, nice and slow, yeah, they'll go across and then this high hopper here will pick it up. Let's say that that one is up uh, and this I this hopper picks it up. The next item to come along will also go into that hopper. Even if I had, like, you know, uh, a sorting system or something like that on there, like, two innocents in a row will end up with in the same hopper. So I need some way of turning these on and off, which I think I'm going to try and get from this line. Uh, but there is an issue, as you can see. Um, I want to use these to control the trap doors. Now, thankfully, we have this situation. So if I'm detecting from the hoppers, it's the same as detected from this chest, apart from the chest is a nice static system, whereas the hoppers I'll be detecting a small blip. But you can see that the chest outputs a signal all the way to here, and that's great. You can you can kind of like run a redstone signal over the top of it. If like the trapdoor was underneath, I'd be able to still power that. But of course, this is not the setup I'm facing. In essence, this is the setup I'm facing, and it's completely different. You see how the uh, the, the block is one lower than the dispenser? Or the hopper, you know, I mean, we could take out of either of those. And then the, the this is where the trapdoor has to be. I wonder if I can move that down, actually. No, 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 even then that will not work. Uh, but so, so this is the thing that happens, is I explain the issue to you guys, and then whilst... Excuse me. Whilst e uh, reiterating the issue, I'm like, oh, maybe maybe this is a way of fixing it. But that's not something I'm going to be able to figure out until next time, uh, until next segment. But yeah, I don't know. It's it's troublesome here, but I'm sure I'll fix it somehow. So next modules are in place up here. You can see we get the maps come up into this hopper over here where I'm going to put a long delay automatic clock on you know the uh, the smart hoppers where it detects that it's got an item in the reason for the long delay is so that we can get more than one or two maps inside there so the randomization can start to happen uh i've been throwing items into here for a little while just kind of making sure that they will kind of go along and find themselves on the very outside edge all this ice has definitely helped and it doesn't look like anything has been getting stuck on any of the hoppers at all if i drop down and through uh, everything's looking pretty good here. So, the items go into the hoppers, and these comparators here, this one, and this one under here, and this one over this side, I've got a whole bunch of comparators in place to detect the items going into the hoppers. Because remember, we were having troubles, like, uh, locking the hoppers after the first items go into, the, into them. So, this is what this uh, comparator does. It goes up, it takes the signal back over this way. You can see I've started doing it on these two uh, and locks the system as if it was this uh, little bit of uh, redstone here. Fires down, uh, relocks the hopper and fires the dispenser. So that's pretty good. And I started work on a little system over here that actually uh, can work on locking the trap doors here. Okay, cool. That we can we can use this signal, right? We've got we've got a bit of signal going down. Let's come up to here. Now uh, we have these signals from under here that lock the hoppers and stuff. I mean, this indicates when a player's there, and then when the player when this gets pushed down, the player can leave, right? So uh, 
We'll take that signal up and over. No, we'll take the signal from the door here, sorry. Uh, put it through an OR gate so that both doors can operate the same thing because we just need all the all the trap doors to close at once. Uh, we put that in there. Piston fires, locks down the doors. I thought that was genius, right? Absolute no. Of course it's not going to work. Players are going to be stood on the player pla pressure plate uh, and then when we want to turn it off, we're going to have no way of letting them go again. Hmm. So there's a little problem that I need to work on. I think that's actually going to form into the same problem as the uh, long form clock for the dispenser because, of course, we need to uh, measure for both of these whether all things have been done and everything is finished before we let them go, right? So I'm going to rip this out. I'm going to put this system in across the lot uh, and then whew, we'll figure out what we can do with all this mess. We interrupt this redstone video to bring you an SOS response. Our boy Wise has got a little bit of a problem. He's taken on the building of a very big tower and unfortunately needs an awful lot of glass. A job that may be a little bit too big for him, but that's okay. We work on a community multiplayer server, so we're going to go out and help the man. Uh, I've managed to make myself a brand new shovel. We're going to go and like destroy it. We're going to destroy it. It's only got efficiency four on it. I was kind of hoping for some unbreaking. Uh, but we give him an entire inventory full of sand. Yes, here we go. Beautiful. We're here as well. I think, actually, if I remember correctly, if we go around this one, we should find a portal. And it's always nice to get back onto the portal network. Couldn't find the portal. Did find a monument, though. Well, one diamond and a few enchantments later, we have got this much sand. It's not quite as much as I was hoping for. If we had unbreaking on the shovel, that would have done well. I was just going to spend a little bit of time going around and uh, hand mining some of this sand. Not, not really the ideal plan. But look, I'm so close. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up to get an entire inventory's worth. Ah, oh, beautiful. Just as the sun is starting to rise, I have filled my inventory with sand. That's kind of the easy bit done. Now what we need to do is head on back to spawn and try and turn it all into glass. All right, chest of sand. Beautiful. So the next thing is we need some burnables. Over here, I've got 24 charcoal. It's not amazing, but I do have more over in these furnaces here. Up on the hill, just opposite spawn, I have been busy. Busy burning down, well not burning down, sorry, busy chopping down trees. These dark oaks in particular, one because, you know, there's a lot of wood per dark oak, but also I want to try and like build up my general stocks of dark oak saplings and, you know, just turning over the trees is the best way to do that.
You always end up with a few leaves that are just like too stubborn to leave. I'm always like, yeah, let's do a time lapse. And then I'm like, oh, I'm really worried that things are going to despawn. Let's not do that. Uh, so I end up uh, breaking it and coming here. Also, you should go see this. Uh, yeah, look at that. Uh, can't can't get it. And if you, we look, it'll jump up to here somewhere where some previous leaves were. Let's go ahead and do uh, this. And hopefully we should just like pick them up randomly. Yeah, uh, somehow it thinks that the... I don't know if it's like a client server desync or something like that. But it seems like something thinks there's still a block up there and that the logs actually belong on it. And it won't let me pick it up unless I deal with that. Uh, so, oh, is this going to work for us? Beautiful. Okay, so that was actually... Unfortunately, less than less wood than I was expecting. I was expecting another stack. Um, to get two stacks, rather, is what I'm saying there. Oh, now you grow. Oh, now you grow. No, not interested. I am leaving just to show you guys what we're doing. So we're taking these logs and we're taking them all the way back down to spawn. I should really probably have set something up over there. Would have made my life a lot easier. But over here, just throwing some stuff in a two here. Oh, man. Uh, let's just try and, like, break these down into eights. Just so we're not, like, wasting the coal, you know? What fortuitous timing! I was here trying to sort out all this stuff for my man Wise, and who should log in but Potato Potatoist, that uh, Wise's Minecraft account. I'm just going to go ahead and slap this up here. I was kind of expecting him to be here, but let's try and put all of those in there. That should now slowly cook away all of those. Three and a little bit of stack. So each stack of charcoal will cook up to here in a chest. So three of those and then you just need a little bit. I should have done all of those. Hey buddy, I have a present for you at your to tower. I can spell. Uh, I know it's not much compared to what you have to do, but here's my contribution. Bam! Okay, so it's burning away um, a whole bunch of sand. Sand drops into the top. Uh, charcoal goes in the side, glass comes out of the bottom, but I say it's not much, it really isn't much. Each one of these is like 70 odd to do. Well, thanks anyway, sorry for the trouble. <laughs> no, no worries, man. I'm like, yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool. All right, sweet. Well, with that done, I am like very close to getting the, uh, getting the redstone done. So let's go finish that and hopefully... Whew, I'll have a finished contraption for you by the next time. So are you guys ready for a wet run through? I'm ready for a wet run through. I suppose first what I should do is explain to you the control systems that I've put down underneath. So the majority of this you are fully aware because I'm sure everyone has followed my explanations of all this tangled mess of redstone perfectly. But down here you might remember that we had this third player uh, detector. This, is, this detects the third player. Uh, when that happens, it starts this clock, but at the same time as starting this clock, it starts the dispensing of the maps up top. Yeah, because we talked about that. Three three maps is good enough, and then when they put the rest in, they also, also get dispensed. Once this clock has gone back and forth, it turns that off, because it's six times the length of that clock up there. Maths works great. But also opens that door over there, and that should be the end of it. Oh, also, I want to, when this one trigger triggers over here... Uh, dispense an item onto a, a onto a uh, pressure plate. Pressure plate is the word I'm looking for. Dispense an item onto a pressure plate, uh, and then like have some sort of like burnout clock in the corner over here. So when the item despawns, exactly five minutes later, the burnout clock passes a signal up to a bunch of note blocks, and the innocents can know that they've waited long enough, or the traitors know that they lost something like that. Uh, that's that's how I want to do that. And obviously, traitors win when everybody is dead. I want to do some sort of system where you throw your traitor map into a hopper and you get an item back. Uh, you know, a sword or something like that. I think that would be pretty cool. All right, we were saying we were going to have some sort of wet through. Let's do this now, shall we? Uh, traitor, innocent, innocent. In there's a there's, there's there's a ladder in the way innocent and then I'm actually gonna go traitor here before going for the last innocent I think I think that's probably a good way to go I'm not, I'm not sure about that I'm not sure about that if you guys can think of any better systems for laying them out uh, let me know we're also gonna go through and we're gonna put one of these guys on every oh they've already closed us down wait 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 hopefully well this is a, this is a good test this is a good test uh, does the fact that that took so long mean anything okay so everything got this uh, uh, uh. okay te te test failure one okay so i know that i'm gonna have to come up with some way of stopping that okay that's nice and easy apart from this bit right here uh 
Okay, that, that's that's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll figure that out. Uh, the, the, every other system seems to be working all right. I can hear this ticking away over here. I see blocks on all of these. Nice. And they're not in order. Look, okay, that's good. That's good. Now, the real question is, did I put enough items in the clock down below to allow the dis... Fencing of everything. Okay, so far so good. I've got a feeling we could... Uh, doubled up, but I saw it drop there. You guys saw it drop there as well. I need to go double check the footage, but I think that's actually just where I put the um, same item in. Okay, that's good. Yeah, you know, that's good. That's fine, that's fine. Because that one, if it was going to be um, of the same system, it would be over that side over there, of the same order that we put them in. So this this is just randomly ended up to, to lay back. And now the door opens. And now the door opens. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, so we got got a bit of a... But mostly, mostly it's worked out fine. Let's go see what's going on with this clock down here. Uh, no, so when this one ran out last, it should have triggered all this down here. Why did it not? Okay, I've literally just been sat here watching sticks count down. Nothing has changed. I want to see what happens here when this runs out. So this is an output from the comparator on that clock. It, it definitely fired. It definitely fired. This, this didn't turn off though. Why did this not turn off? Is this not a long enough signal? Can I take a bigger signal out the other side? Anyway, I need some more repeaters. One reason I like using armor stands is they're the most patient test subjects I have ever found. So let's go through and just pick all these up because they're they're secondary. The, the map system worked. Yay! <laughs> So if I remember correctly, a repeater on two ticks can't give out less than two ticks worth of pulse. So let's see if this works. We're going to have a, a, a bit of a wait again, aren't we? Oh, no, no. Four, three, two. Oh, did it go? Torch on, clock off. Okay, that's good. That's good. The, door, the, the doors still aren't open, though. I'm not sure what's going on with that. That really should have been like... One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It should have been fine. Should have been fine. Well, thankfully, I have a reset button here. I'm not sure what happened, but let's just press that. Let the players... Uh, it's this! It's this! I know what's wrong! Ah, okay, well... All that means is this needs to be a pulse generator rather than a steady tick of redstone. Okay, that's that's fine, that's fine. And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for this actually successful test of the system. I know it looks like it kind of failed at the last moment, but all the maps got successfully dispensed. I know exactly what's wrong here and how to fix it with those blocks just down there. Oh. It's been fun today, guys. I don't know whether you guys have enjoyed the Redstone episode. Let me know. It is something that, obviously, I understand quite a few people do not appreciate. But I tried to go into as much detail as I thought people would like. If it was too much, let me know. If it wasn't enough, let me know. I will see you next time. When we're going to go around, I, I would kind of like to build my flat on top of there. But I also hear that Wise is going to be releasing some of his floors for living in. So I'd like to do that as well. But I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!